Okay, now, do you know what time it is? Is it coffee time? Come on, coffee family. Do you know what time it is? Good morning, America. Good morning, family and friends. I'm so happy that you are with me and I'm with you. From the nation's capital of the world, Washington, D.C. Come on, pick up your mug this morning and say with me, ah, welcome, welcome, and welcome to Coffee with Pastor. Good morning, everybody. Welcome home. Do you smell what the coffee is cooking this morning? Mm -mm -mm. Good morning and welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Holy Spirit, Spirit of Jesus, God of all mercy, Father of love, Father of love, I have been Awaken my soul to 
Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for this precious day that you have given us. As we begin our devotional, Lord, we humbly recognize that we have sinned, we have offended you, we have transgressed against you. And Lord, we humble ourselves in asking for forgiveness of our iniquities, our faults, our actions. Help us to navigate through our troubled waters, through our problems of life. Lord, some of us are going through sickness. We ask for your healing power of the body, mind, and soul. And Lord, that your word will continue to transform us, renew us, and restore our lives by the power of your word in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Our Zoom ID number is 934-464-7066. Won't you give God the praise? Come on, give him praise. Give him a clap off for your praise, everyone. Bless you, bless you, everybody. God bless you, bro. Good morning and welcome to another edition. Let me just lower that, people. Another edition of our devotional. Uh, amen. Amen. Uh, our morning devotional. We are here every morning, uh, Monday to Friday, uh, at um, uh, 10 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, amen. I just want to give my shout outs this morning, real quick, right? I just jump on there. Hazel Tamika, God bless you, and good morning, and welcome home. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for joining us this morning. Good morning, Raina and Evangelist, uh, all the way from Faslabad, Pakistan. God bless you. Chris, amen. God bless you. My son, bless you all the way from the Boogie Down Bronx. But viewing us from downtown Manhattan. Good morning, Jerry the Mambo Sanchez. Yes, the Mambo King. Yes, with the dancing shoes from the Boogie Down Bronx. Long, long time friend of ours. God bless you and welcome home. Carmen Milagros Ortiz, our lovely secretary. God bless you, my love. Good morning, Linda Rivera. Bless you. Hey, Vince, God bless you. So good to listen. I'm encouraged about you, my brother. Peace and grace. May the Lord continue to uh, just multiply and fulfill uh, his purpose in your life. I know that God has great things for your life. God bless you. Good morning. He has a program also. I don't know what time, but um, uh, shoot up on him and just uh, give him a shout out. Good morning, Naomi Romero Pacheco, all the way from, uh, oh my goodness, from Puerto Rico. Amen. Manati, Puerto Rico, but born in New York City. Amen. God bless you. Good morning and welcome home. Welcome home, Jeremy. Jeremy Hill. Yes, Jeremy Hill is in the house. And, uh, uh, he's in uh, Instagram, right? Well, I would love for you to do some things. Hey, can you please share, like, and tag? Uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm sharing people. Uh, because sharing is caring. I share because I care. 
Margarita Torres Ruiz. We're just waiting for some more people to get on. We are on our fifth day, fifth day, right? Of uh, the um, right, the armor of God, our book club, and we uh, we go into that book on a on a daily basis. I am in Monday to Friday. Good morning, Margarita. Thank you for sharing. Yes, thank you for sharing, guys. Bless you, bless you. Please share. And you can hashtag shared, okay, or share. Okay. Oh, great. Thank you for sharing. Yes, shared it, right? Uh, hashtag share. Uh, amen. Thank you. Please, let's let's just keep it going. We are in uh, uh, YouTube. I'm sorry, we are in Zoom. Our Zoom ID number is 934-464-7066. Uh, that's, that's, that is our Zoom. You can be on Instagramies. Our Instagram is the number one, Coffee with Pastor E. I'm on YouTube right now, live on YouTube, uh, Coffee with Pastor E TV. We are on Twitch, right? Uh, Twitch is a gaming, gaming social media. I'm everywhere, okay? Um. Uh, we are also in other social medias, platforms. We are in Pinterest. We are in LinkedIn. We are in uh, Blobbit. We are in, not Reddit. Uh, we are in Tumblr. We are in every, almost every, we are also on Twitter. Okay? So please see us, viewers, like, tag, share. Uh, it's so important to share especially you guys on Facebook. My main bulk of people is on Facebook. Uh, amen. Uh, we've gotten to the high of maybe 15 um, on our Facebook page, but it doesn't be consistently. This is the problem. You know why? Many people are at work, school, uh, doing errands, which is understandably. Uh, amen. Uh, because it's really hard. Uh, Margarita, Margarita Torre Ruiz has her earpiece right now and she's listening to us. I love you, girl. Um, yes. Well, thank you for viewing us. We've got uh, almost 250 views on our Friday uh, edition of the special uh, mystery guest, right? Uh, my fiance, my girlfriend, uh, Amen, my wife to be. Uh, amen. Um, uh, she was here with me uh, this past uh, couple of days, and she left Sunday morning. Uh, I greet you, uh, my love. If you're seeing this live or on the replay, know that I love you. Amen. And I'm thinking about you. Uh, amen. Uh, and we bless you in the name of Jesus. Uh, amen. Just be encouraged. We, we thank God. Um, uh, also, please march the 8th. Oh, don't miss it. Please put it on your calendar. March the 8th is our Little Messengers of Christ celebration. Our Little Messengers of Christ celebration of three years. Many of you have seen the flyer. Please share the flyer. I'm going to put it up on the board. Okay? I'm going to put it up. I'm going to share it. Uh, amen. I, I want it. I want it. Um, I wanted evangelists to do it first this year. Uh, amen. And I, I was the one that did the flyer. I think it came out very nice. Uh, to, you know, amen. I, got, I think it came out very nice. Amen. Uh, so please share it. Share the flyer. Uh, evangelists, please share the, the flyer again. Uh, amen. Um, on your page or on your pages. Uh, amen. Let's continue. We need your fun. We need your help financially. So please help us towards that. Uh, amen. Every little count. Please. It's right there. I'm also going to I'm also going to put it the um uh the where you can okay uh do it through this through the text or through the website right uh you can probably do it if you have the app uh, if you already have the app, then you can do it on the app. 
Okay, just text one eight eight eight. I'm sorry, text coffee, right in capital letters to one eight 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 three six four uh four four eight uh eight three three six four 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 eight three. It is the number right there. Please do that today. Every every dollar counts. So whatever you can towards the little messengers of Christ anniversary. We need your help. Please do that. Please. We really need your help. We need between, you know, uh, it, it, you know, we want to give them food for that day. Uh, I don't know about gifts, but food, um, the, the banner, and some other little things for them. So can you please give? Okay. Mary and winner. God bless you. So good to see you. Amen. Bless you. It's been a long time. As well as Tamika, right? Tamika is the first person. Hazel, Tamika, I'm not sure she's been with us or she's, if you're the first time with us, please subscribe and please, uh, amen, um, add us to your page uh, and please uh, share, share this you know, this message, this posting, please share it. Touch, push, 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 push the button. Share. Okay. Please share today. Uh, as much as we can, share it. We are in the last day and we're only going to probably be two days on this five day. Uh, this is the fifth day. It is a strategy session. What is a strategy? A strategy is, is something that we compose, right? It's a a strategic um, formula, right? A formula or a plan uh, that we need to counteract Satan. Satan is a liar and he's conjuring up. Okay, I want to I wanna let you know that he's right now uh, lurking and not just him because he's not omniscient. He's not omnipresent. He's not omniscient and he's not all powerful. I need to let you know don't give him so much credit, okay? All right? Because he's a liar. He's a defeated foe. But we must strategize against him, right? We must strategize against him. He's, a def he's been defeated. And you need to understand that he's been defeated since the cross. And Christ has given us the victory already. Sometimes we feel so rejected and so... Um, uh, uh, broken, yes, we've been rejected, broken, or uh, hurt. Uh, we've been in this funk for such a long time because we've allowed that. But Christ has given us the victory, and we must walk in victory, speak victory, smell victory, see the victory, hear the victory, amen. Praise God, and move forward in the victory that Christ has already given us. So we must strategize against him. He's right now, strategically, with his cohorts, right? Which is the demons. And then lurking, looking for what weakness to counteract what God has already told you in your life. Betsy Pantoja, God bless you. Good morning. We are, yes, page 118. We are in the last day of uh, what? What was the last day? The shoes of peace. I I thoroughly loved. I thoroughly loved this um, this this week four. I I, I love the I like the other ones, but this four kind of really. Um, tell me, tell me on the on the chat which week did you like? Did you? Uh, we haven't finished because. But until now, we've gone through already uh, four, four weeks. Wow. My goodness. How time. Oh, my goodness. Just flies. Uh, week, week one, sizing up the enemy. Right? Uh, lesson. Uh, let me see. Let me see. I want to make sure. Week two was the belt, the belt of truth. Uh, week three was the breastplate of righteousness. And four is the shoes of peace. Now next week, we'll be going to the shield of faith. We might start this week, but I'm not sure. 
Okay, I'm not sure. Uh, amen. That will will go uh, to the shield of faith, week five, and then after week five, wow, is week six, which is the helmet of salvation, and then the last is the sword of the spirit. Wow, we are going really, really quick. We're on page 118 as Carmen. A uh, comment, a uh, please, if there's any verses or anything, input, uh, you can, please, feel free. Feel free. If there's something important, if there's something that is a uh, 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 drop the mic or something, you can even put that on the chat room. And let's have, let's have the people engaged today. Thank you, Carmen. Let's have the, the people engaged in all our social media. Okay, uh, it is important that we engage people. That's how we trend. As many as amens, uh, praise the Lord in our, in our, I don't know if it went through. Yeah, uh, there's an amen there, amen. Uh, just praise the Lord. Thank God for this word. Strategy session. What is uh, Sister Shia? This is the book. If you have not gotten this book, it is a keeper. Look at how worn out. Oh my goodness, look at that, look at that. Because it's good. It's a very good book, okay? It is a very good, good book. The Armor of God by Priscilla Schreier. In conjunction, right, with Lifeway, Biblical Solution for Life. Okay, it's, a, it's working together with this publishing company or this, uh, well, uh, is it a publishing? I want to make sure. I know they have a, oh, look at it. Is it, this is the armor. Look at it. It has a drawing. Awesome, awesome. Let's go. Day five, strategy session. She says that her friend, Lisa, went skydiving for, for her 50th birthday. And she always wanted to try it, right? So she did it. So she did. And she was so proud of her for taking the risk and doing something adventuresome. Later, she told her all about it. Like when you're excited about something, you do hi, Titi. Bendición. Right, so she was. She she told her everything about it. Now she said that the blood was rushing. Right, amen. And the energy charged a descent of the initial free fall, and then the the scene the scenery. Right, steady drop after the parachute had been opened. I I could imagine. I'm I'm a scary cat. I I am a chicken, especially for that. Would I try it? I'm not going to say no. Uh, reading this story, I can imagine when the parachute is open, you can see the scenic, the mountains from high, you know? I, I think that that would be the most awesome part of this. I think that the drop would be the most scariest. And I think that's the most scariest, right? The drop, right, from a plane, right? But listen what she's saying. She also told her how more than anything, she was thankful. Thankful for the instructor, right? You know, uh, uh, she was thankful for the instructor, instructor, right? She hadn't left him behind, you know? She, she hadn't let him, be, him behind in the plane. She jumped out of no way. He was strapped to her back. Now listen to this. How, how she metaphorically uses this story to impart in us the shoes of peace. Listen. No matter how fast she was falling through the air. No matter how rapidly the approaching a ground seemed to be nearing, no matter how loud and uh, 
intimidating the air and the atmosphere sounded as it wrapped, I'm sorry, as it whipped through her hair, she felt safe and assured and could ever, and, and could ever smile. Assured and could even smile. Mm. Right there in the middle of the sky. Why? Why was she smiling? In such a health, you know, anything could happen, but she felt secure that her instructor was wrapped around because he's an instructor. He he knew he was a seasoned instructor because she was safely tendered to someone who knew exactly what he was doing. You see, when we understand and know uh, that person, it's it's like um, you're taking driver's license for the first uh, driver's uh, driver's lesson, driver's license, uh, driver's yeah, you, you, your first time you're, you're getting under a car and, you know, driving a car. And the instructor is a seasoned veteran, knowing what to do in panic. These people are prepared. It, it, it's a scary situation. But that person, you know, he's going to be calm under the pressure. He's going to know what he needs to do. Let's continue. That's uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. That person knew what was doing now. This, in essence, she says, is an accurate, and I want you to underline some words portrait of peace. Underline portrait of peace. It is your instructor guiding you. Number one, put underline that guiding you. Keeping you, number two, keeping you steady. Number three, assured. And that's important. That's a, even, 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 um, oh, and number four, unwavering. Four things. When you have that instructor that knows what they're doing, that understands the complexity of a drop of, of that magnitude. And even though the instructor could go wrong too, but there's a safety. Um, right? If there's a safety. You know that if something goes wrong, that instructor is going to know how to handle it. I need you to understand that when it, 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 it is your instructor Guiding you, keeping you steady, assured, and unwavering. Even capable of smiling when everything in your environment says you should be screaming for your dear life. Ah! It's like you, you know, it's like getting on a roller coaster. You know, I, I know that many accidents have happened. Anything could happen in life. But you're sure that's metal, right? That nothing's going to happen. That's not, you know, the, 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 the wheels on the truck goes round and round. You're going to make sure that even a car, you're not safe. You're safe because you're in a car and, and God willing, you'll get to the place to from A to Z. But anything could happen. But you're trusting those mechanics, those those um, engineers uh, that place these uh, uh, intricate, uh, th their lives are at stake, right? There are lives that are at stake. When you get into a car, you might not even know what what the heck is it under the car, the, how things move. But these pieces are very intricate. That's why... Any person that's an engineer, a car engineer, has to be uh, uh, their, their their hands, uh, their the, their lives 
in the hands of these people. Isn't it so true? Now listen to this. That's the spiritual. Listen, that's the spiritual confidence that comes from peace. Underline that, please. Underline that. Underline that. Because why why do we worry? Why do we worry? How, how, how can we get out of this worriness? It, it does the enemy or us as our own enemy stop us from seeing what God wants to do or fulfilling what God wants to do? Are we afraid of, of doing what we need to do? I mean, we all have fears. We all have uncertainties. And that comes with lives. Yes, that comes with 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 a lot of things: marriage, uh, children, jobs. Uh, just life itself is a challenge. Life is a, grandchildren driving for the first time, falling off a plane, going into a roller coaster or amusement parks, or you know, getting into those treacherous roller coasters or different machines it it is but there's an adrenaline there's a there's a fear factor right it's a fear factor but when we trust you know when we see okay you know people have been there they've done this and they trust in the engineers right those people that meticulously but anything could happen even in buildings why do you go into your house you know that's not going to happen. Nothing's going to happen, right? We hope not, right? But anything could happen. But we trust in what? We trust what? That's the spiritual confidence that comes from peace. Why? When we get into our house, we know we're in the house. We're in our bed. Nothing's going to happen. That's the peace. So trust the process. The process does not change the promise of God for your life. I need you to understand that. The process does not change the promise of God for your life. Come on, just hashtag it. Come on, comment, put it up. Hashtag, process does not change the promise of God for your life. Mm. I know somebody, I've said that countless times. The promise or the process does not change the promise. Mm. The process does not change the promise. Mm. The process does not change the promise that God has given you. God has designed a, a promise, amen, that no one, no man, no demon could take that away from you. Oh, somebody say amen. Come on. Oh, snap. <laughs> come on. Come on. Yes, that's coffee tea. Thank you. The process does not change the promise. Let's continue. She says, I don't know where you stand today. She says, I don't know where you're standing today. On the piece of con continuum. I can't say that word. That's a hard word for me to say, but that means a sequence or continuously, right? Con contin continuum which is a process, progress, right? When we stop, you know, in this, it, it, I don't know where you're, where you're standing today, in the piece of progress, the piece of progress, peace has to be progressive. Mm. Uh, some of us just stop ourselves in fear. Peace stops fear. Reassurance stops fear. Trusting stops fear. Mm. Come on. The only thing that should progress in your life is the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. And whether you're fam fairly smoothly sailing through your various struggles right now, she says, or you're nearly biting your nails to the quick and biting, bitting people's heads. I'm sorry. Biting, okay, I'm sorry, biting people's head off for every little 
perceived offense or somewhere in between, she said. But as you begin to start asking, asking the Lord for direction on drawing up a personal, see, a strategy that's drawing up this strategic, hey, Minister Lamont, God bless you, my brother, peace and grace. Catch him, amen, in um, International Psalms Saturday, okay, right? Put it up, uh, Minister Lamont, amen. I know that he has Psalms Saturday, he has um, uh, um, has a, a couple of programs. Put it up uh, on, on, on the chat room, my brother. Amen. But bless him. Bless him. He's a young man that really, really helped me out at the beginning of, of Coffee with Pastor E. He, was a, he is a blessing. And amen. He will continue to bless others with the knowledge that he's gained through the social media. Amen. God bless you. Love you, my brother. Peace and grace. Uh, amen. So, but when you start beginning to ask the Lord, for direction on drawing up a personal prayer strategy for sliding into the shoes of peace. She says she she wants you to consider a little field trip exercise. She says, so let's go with it. Let's go with that exercise today. Okay? Think of a person, she says, of a person you know whose life is peace filled and write his or her name below and describe her how you've seen uh, this virtue reflect against the backdrop of difficult circumstances also describe how you've seen it often protect you offer protection against the enemy's attempts to stun his or her progress? How have you seen him or her thrive despite difficulties? Okay, so this is a little uh, 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 exercise that you can take, that you can do. Maybe that person you know, uh, maybe through the social media. Uh, it could be anyone, maybe a mentor. Uh, maybe a spiritual father or mother, uh, amen, a, a spiritual mom or dad, uh, someone that you've seen in the midst of their fire, seem, seem to be calm and cool and collected. How can you gather information, right? How can you gather that information? I'm sorry. How can you gather that information from that? You can gather information, yes, from someone that's been under the fire, under the, the, the you know, under the temptation. Oh my goodness. And, uh, under temptation, right? That Satan wants to rattle you, right? Find that person. And then, you, listen, think of a person you know whose life is peace-filled. Find, right? Write his or her name below and describe how you've seen this virtue reflect against the backdrop. In other words, her difficult circumstances. Write down what you see maybe through Facebook or maybe in your walk with God. You see this person, this pastor, minister, prophet, uh, apostle, teacher, someone that's mentored you. And, and just write down and how has it affected you in a positive way. That's a good, I, I like that. Because there are people that are real. But don't don't get someone that you've seen that they fell. You don't want to ga gather intel from that person. I mean, I think you can, right? Uh, someone that has fallen um, to the challenges. And I think many of us have fallen, uh, you know, into the cracks. So do that. If you want to do that, do that personal. I think that that will be a good way of understanding better. Let's get to you. She says that one of the most impactful things she's ever done is to call a person whose peaceful life and she's admired 
to ask how she or he, well, in this point, she says she, but I put he also, right? Uh, has She has effectively applied the peace of God to her life. So how, this is res- this is resource. This is this is something that we all need. We all need people that we can emulate in good in the good things, right? Emulate in the good things, right? Um, consider calling or sharing coffee with that person you've listed, or listen, learn, and record insights in a journal space maybe with the in page 119 and think you just might find the beginning of your prayer strategy when you do so how important is this strategy right when we see other people don't put them in the pedestal right because i think some of us we put men and women in such a high standard, right? And when they fail, uh, you you look at their failure. I want you to look at people that are real. Look at them. You you fail. You've gone through your turmoil. You've gone through your uh, uh, um, uh, your circumstances of life, right? Look at those people. Look look at where they're at. How how do you deal with peace? Call them up. How do you deal with this situation? I thank God and I'm just I'm I'm just putting you you know my life. It's been on Facebook, right? And all the social medias. I, I I've been able to learn um some things. I'm not an expert, please. I'm not an expert. But I love to share. I I love to share uh, my experiences because my experiences help you. My downfalls help you. My struggles of life helps you. So I thank God when I hear someone call me we talk, uh, how did you dealt with this? Or even when I've seen that person going through this similar to what I've gone through, I could interject and in what people have imparted me. I got people that have imparted me. I have a spiritual mom. She's imparted wisdom. I got a, a spiritual friend, a brother, okay? Not a friend, a brother for more than 40 years. And his experiences has 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 helped me in my marriage, uh, in my walk with God. Amen. Uh, I I'm indebted to this young man. Uh, amen. He is my brother. Uh, amen. And those are the people that you want to gravitate. Those are the people that you wanna uh, you, you wanna hold dear to you, right? That you wanna do war with spiritually right there there are these men that are placed hey living testify god bless you my love uh i'm just a regular man i am no superhuman at all i'm just like you i'm going through the trenches just like you but if i could help you if i could just do if i could just give you a little push I've done my work I've done my job amen uh, uh, living to testify could, could relate she's my spiritual daughter in Arizona um, yeah um, she's very dear to me I have spiritual daughters and spiritual sons some reach out to me some don't some consider me as a spiritual dad and I thank you for that Amen. And I bless God and I humbly uh, receive that. Amen. Um, uh, some I mentor, some I tutor, some I don't. 
Some of you consider me a spiritual dad. I am it because they see the white beard, right? <laughs> no, spiritual dad does not mean that you need to have a white beard, but have the wisdom of God and the knowledge of God and have experienced God. I, I know God for since the age of 12. I accepted Christ as my personal savior. God set out in my mother's womb. God set me out. Listen, I gotta tell you, God is a setup. <laughs> I just thank God for the family that I was birthed to. Because I know many of you have struggled. Many of you have gone through uh, the mill, to say the least. Have gone hell and back uh, through a lot of family ordeals and traumas of life. It's been a rough, a rough a rough time, a very rough. But in all that, God's mercy. And I'm not going to say that uh, the gospel has been handed to me on a silver spoon platter. I've gone through my stuff. But I'm still standing today. It's because of the mercy of God. I'm standing today because of God's grace. I'm standing today of his promise. I cannot stop. I cannot detain. I cannot. Coffee with Pastor E is my baby. Elohim is my baby. It's, it's, uh, that's, I'm the lead pastor. I'm, I'm your pastor. You've made me your pastor. I'm your online pastor. If you want to call it that way, I'm your online spiritual uh, pastor. If you want to call it that way, then amen. Whatever it may be, whatever I, I could sow a seed in your spiritual life. Coffee with Pastor will be um, celebrating eight years eight years in, in May, eight years, eight years, online blessings, and we might celebrate it, yes, I may pick a destination, and I'm going to pick it up soon, so if people want to drive or take a plane and celebrate with us, it'll be an awesome way to see you and greet you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, I would love to, to um, already get a place um, for May. May or June. Our, our celebration is mainly in May, but I'm gonna, I am gonna. I may just pull it into June uh, just to get if people are going to come and want to celebrate. It might be in New York. It might not be. I am not sure. But we're going to glorify God. And we're going to, for eight years, celebration. Amen. And I'm just going to get a location as soon as I I, I need to get a place. Uh, amen. So I will let you know the celebration. And you can come to New York City. I, I think that's where we're heading to. Where we all started Coffee with Pastor E eight years ago. Amen. Um It'll be a blessing, to say the least. And greet you in the name of Jesus. So, we're ready. We're ready. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus said that. Jesus said that because he could, because he sacrificed his life. On the cross, his blood is still shedding and still wiping sins away because this is a spiritual thing. People think, Oh, I'm washed in his blood. Of course, we are, but it's spiritually, right? Uh, uh, it had to come from the sacrifice from a lamb, and the lamb was Jesus. He did not say a word. A sinless lamb, a sinless 
through sin, man, sin, sin came through man, and the redemption had to come from man. And you say, well, yes, he was spiritual, 100%, but it was also 100% man. And it had to be a sacrifice on the cross. But he's not in the tomb. He had to be risen from the dead. And that's our faith. Our faith is not that we will stay in, in the tomb. We, our, our, our soul, our spirit will, will live, will, will be resurrected. And that day when he comes, our bodies will be transformed. Listen, it's only the body, it's only the, the bones that, that just, it's our spirit, it's our soul. That's why it's a spiritual battle that we fight. Jesus came to set the captives free, not from a tyranny of the Roman Empire, but from a spiritual Roman Empire. Our minds. God wants to set you free from the war. I, I learned to this weekend by for, with Pastor uh, Chad. He says Jesus was born in an era of war. And I was like, yo, where is this guy coming from? I learn, I learn all the time. He went deep. It was a time of war, a time of turbulence in that moment, in that time. But he came to set the captives free. He came to give sight to the blind. He came to heal the brokenhearted. Amen. Praise God. And that spiritual walk with God. That's why Nicodemus couldn't understand. He says, well, how, how how can we born, born again? That was so intriguing. He says, must, must I go to, the, to, to my mother's womb? My, must I return back? He didn't know. He, he didn't know that it was he had to be washed in the blood. Washed. Amen. Uh -uh. Amen. It was a spiritual washing. Is understanding that the battle, the battle of men has been raging in our minds from eternity, from the beginning. It's been raging war. And you can be set free. See, the enemy wants to keep you in that dormant, in that mindset. He wants to free you. Isn't it so awesome when you're freed? When you know that you found out that, gosh, man, so many years, and today I'm free. Why? Why are you free? Why do you feel free? How do you know I'm free? Because I have Jesus in my life. I, I'm free because I know Christ has freed me. And there's no condemnation. For those, John chapter 3, uh, 16 and 17, right? Um, I, 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 we we got to go to that scripture, right? It says, for God so loved the world that he gave his own one and only, one and only son. That whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his son to condemn the world. He did not bring his son. He did not send his son into the world to condemn the world. But to save the world through him. Only through Jesus Christ. You can have eternal life. So what must I do? Let's go right to it. Let's go right to it, Pastor e. Let's go right to it. So what must I do? If he's the way, if he's the truth, and he is life, and I can only go through the Father, then only through Jesus, only through the sacrifice of the cross, then what must I do, Pastor? You tell me. First thing, you must repent. In the book of uh, Acts chapter 3, verse 19 and 20, it says, Repent therefore and be transformed, that your sins may be blotted out, so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. You cannot... You cannot be transformed.
You cannot be washed away. Uh, amen. Your sins cannot be blotted out if there's no repentance. Why is that? Because repentance turns turns your life around. Not 360, but 190. Not 360, 190. And I learned this too. 360 just takes you back to the same area that you were at. 190 takes you to the newness of God. So you must repent. You must turn your back to your sinful life. That's the only way you can receive refreshing. Or ref the, 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 the refreshing of the presence of God. Secondly, you must admit. Romans chapter 3 verse 23 tells us, All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You must admit that you are a sinner. A sinner needs to acknowledge or recognize that they have sinned. And thirdly, thirdly, you must believe. Acts chapter 16 verse 31 tells us, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Believe that he died on the cross and that what? And he rose on the third day. Not just that, but you trust in him alone for your salvation. Committing your life to his. All Jesus is asking you is to believe in him. And the last one is confession. First John chapter 1 verse 9. It says, if you, if you confess your sins today, listen, if you, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins. Confess your sins today. You only need to tell Jesus that you have sinned and ask for forgiveness, then he will forgive you no matter what sins you and I have committed. Okay, if you want to make a step, in recommitting your life or accepting Christ for the first time. Let's do this prayer right now. Bow your heads and repeat after me. Father in heaven, I humble myself before you. In repentance. Repenting of all my sins. Lord, I admit that I am a sinner. I recognize and Lord, I acknowledge you that I have sinned. And Lord, I, I believe, I believe so wholeheartedly that you died on the cross and that you rose on the third day. And Lord, I confess all my sins and I lay it on the cross. Wash me in your blood, wipe my sins away and write my name in the book of life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. Well, if you made this your prayer, then I want you to write to us. Hey Maria, God bless you. If you, if you can write right now on an email, email us. Coffee, Pastor E at gmail.com. Coffee, Pastor E at gmail.com. Coffee, Pastor E at gmail.com. And write to us. Let us know how you love this program, how God has blessed you. And if you accepted Christ as your personal Savior, tell us the date and the time when you accepted Christ. I would, that's so encouraging. And I'm going to pray for all those that are online. I put the anointed oil. Amen. And we're going to pray for your petitions. Can you put your petitions real quick? Please put all your petitions. Put your petitions right now. Jesus, I thank you, Lord, as we present every person. Lord, we humbly, we humbly receive this. Lord, we intercede for your people. That's all we ask. I'm just there as an intermediator to cover my brother and my sister. 
to declare a word upon the lives. Lord, I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for every sickness. I come against it in Jesus' name. I come against every problem, situations of life. Lord, every Lord, I lift up, I lift up your name, that name that is above every name, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. Lord, I, I declare, I declare the word of the Lord. I declare healing right now in the body, every area of your body. I speak that you shall live and not die. You shall live and not die in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for Reina Emmanuel, Evangelist, Alphaz, and their families. I pray for provision as well as the little messengers of Christ and their families. I thank you for Fazlabad. I pray and I, I bless every family, every home. Lord, I pray that you will that you will hear our plea. Father, I ask for Chris Soto, as well as Jerry, the Mambo Sanchez, Linda Rivera, uh, Vince, Maria Perez, Neldo Rivera, Naomi Romero Pacheco, Margarita Torres, Mary Ann Winner. Yes, Lord. Our secretary, Carmen Milagros Ortiz, Kevin Scott and the family. Lord, I, I pray for everyone connected my aunt Hortensia Quintana Lord I thank you for Tamika yes Tamika uh yes Hazel Tamika Lord I thank you I thank you for their families I pray for their family I pray for every family member I lift them up Father God I, I lift up their families and those that are going to see this on the reruns I pray for their lives I pray for their petitions Lord I thank you, Father, for every situation. I place it in your hands. Sylvia Castro, another Rivera, Tanya Rosado, Tina Quintana. Lord, we lift up Glenda, Glenda, Lord, Arcade, and Lord, and, and Justine. Lord, all these coffee hawker maniacs. Lord, we lift up Nadia Brown and her family. Lord, I, I thank you for her husband. I bless them. I bless their families. I lift them up. Lord, I pray for Winnie Brael. She called me yesterday. Her husband, William. I bless them. I bless their lives. I pray, oh Lord. Lord, that you, the work that you started, that you were completed in their lives. I pray, Lord, your blessings. I lift up Abby, Abigail, and, and the Agosto family. Look at her mom. Lord, I pray for strength for the family. I lift up Naomi, yes, Naomi, Agosto, and her family, the children. I, I pray, I thank you, Father, for my children, my family, all around the world, for salvation, deliverance, and breakthrough. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. to the world, spreading the gospel, telling everybody, if you need a smile, he's got it, he's got it, if you need a word, he's got it, he's got it, pastor, somebody sing it, spreading the love of God, ah, oh. do you know what time it is? Coffee family, you know what time it is? You know what time it is. From the nation's capital of the world, Washington, D.C., from the state of Virginia, because Virginia is a what? For lovers, happy you've been with me, blessed and honored that you've allowed me to be with you today. Let's see, I'll see you next time. Same God time, same God channel. I've been your host. I've been your pastor. I've been your friend. Coffee with Pastor E. Love you guys. Stay blessed.